So the next steps for field scope, um, in particular Chesapeake Bay, what we're doing is just trying to reach out to more people to let them know about this resource that's available. Um, we're trying to add some new data layers. For example, we're very close to adding population, and we're looking at population change over time. Um, getting people to add and upload their data. We're customizing projects. Um, we have um, a pilot project going on with green schools to map where the green schools are and what projects are being done. Um, and then also to build stronger social studies connections. As a whole, field scope, what we're trying to do is we're in the middle of a five-year NSF grant um, to do this thing called a project builder where you could build your own project. So say, for example, you are examining, you want to look at tree canopy in, in Baltimore City. So you would go and get all the data layers that you needed and you could upload your own data layers and create your own project or your own investigation for tree canopies in Baltimore City. Um, we're not quite there yet. The technology doesn't exist, so we're actually creating the technology, creating that um, as we go along. Um, we're also looking at various types of geographic data. One thing we're very interested in, in using is um, in doing is using field scope to investigate socioeconomic investigations or questions, like for example, um, food deserts in cities, things like that. And then to really um, promote this community geography effort that we have. Again, that field scope is this community of learners where people are contributing like information in order to investigate a particular question.